What do you think about Jacob Thompson's body? He's very physically fit, he looks very healthy, and looks good. He looks great, very sexy. He's definitely horrible. Well, uh, my arms are too small, I've got a little bit of a gut, and I'm completely pigeon chested. Well, I don't see what other people see when I look in the mirror. But I guess that would keep me humble and make me kinder and gentler to other people. You'd think. I'd say I've got a rapier wit, but I know how to say everything with a wink and a smile, so you always know I'm joking. He sent me home crying the first week I knew him, every day. He can be kind of a dick. He's a I can imagine where it comes from. Not from home, I come from a big family. Big in every way. While always the slimmest in my family, I've also always been the least athletic. I still can't catch a ball if my life depended on it, and I hate organized sports with a passion most people reserve for religion and the actress Katherine Hagel. But one thing we all share is a sharp tongue, and so growing up, when I was picked on, I couldn't back it up physically, but I learned to leave emotional scars so deep you could almost see them. So like a lot of mouthy girly boys, I found theater. But at 16 I realized I had a big beefy baritone voice and an itty bitty tenor body. So, I got to work on that. College, a wise man, Chris Cat, rest his soul, taught me that if you don't look it, no one cares what you sound like. So I threw myself into training heavily. I got myself up to 210 pounds, and I started to get offers for roles that I never could have played at 160 pounds. And along the way, I, of course, took it too far and developed some permanent injuries, uh, chronic joint pain, and over tanning. And even at my biggest, the mirror still said scrawny. So I mixed it up. I added a crazy cardio and Pilates routine. And you know what? Even more doors started to open up for me. But when I looked in the mirror, I still saw that gym class joke. And maybe I always will. So where am I now? Well, a year ago, I couldn't have given this interview shirtless without at least a day of starvation and probably a laxative. I'm trying to work out because I want to, not because I think that I have to. Yes, it helps me sleep at night, it regulates my appetite, and it does help me drink less, but maybe if you can't sleep, can't eat, and drink too much, your abs aren't really what you should be working on. So in 2011, I'm going to try and find some balance. Uh, my skin doesn't need to be any darker than the nice people at L'Oreal are capable of making it, and no more weighing myself. What am I doing now? Well, I'm taking my body measurements, because it is a more accurate way to chart your progress, and you can't expect the crazies to all go away at once. So uh, here's to that balance, being nicer to myself, and hopefully to the rest of you, too. I'm just seven hours old, oh. truly beautiful to behold, and the told me that you should be told, not a libido hasn't been controlled, now the only thing I've come to trust.